What's going on everyone? It's your boy Dungeon coming at you with another Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark Tips and Tactics video. And in this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some beginner's tips to help you guys make your transition through this game smoothly. A lot of people starting this game up, never played it before. Maybe you've never played a strategy RPG before. Well, this game is definitely one of the best. It's taken it back from Final Fantasy Tactics and put in a whole new spin on this thing. Super good graphics, really good game mechanics. So, I'm going to go ahead and give you those tips right now. Let's get into it. So for the first tip that I want to give you guys after you've fully committed to playing Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark and you're going to hit that new game button is to keep your settings as they are, especially if you're a beginner. You don't, you shouldn't need to feel like you want to change some of these settings that you see up on the screen. Um, you can always change them later if you want to. The main one is the difficulty preset, which is set right now at beginner. You can change it later if you want to. You can change it to veteran. You can change it whatever you want. There's a bunch of other things that you can change. For right now, just leave them alone. All right? That's the first tip that I have for you. Let's move on to the next one. So for the second tip that I have for you guys, it is learn and set abilities after each battle. Very important to do this after each battle so that you can basically upgrade your characters. Yes, you gain levels and stuff like that, but with that AP, those ability points that you get, it's very important for you to go through this menu and then actually learn these new abilities. And it is also important when you learn them, like for instance, say you learn a reactionary ability, it's super important for you to actually uh, set it as well because it won't set it for you. You have to select it. And as you get further in the game, you'll actually learn a multitude of these. And you'll get an option to you know, mix and match different abilities and skills. And you have a secondary um, custom class that you can set too. So, so it, it, the options get really, really interesting uh, in this game. Um, but I will say this, as a little tip for you guys, a little bonus tip here. Um, if you uh, get into a battle and during your uh, pre-battle setup when you're placing your units on the battle map before the battle actually be begins, you can actually go to this menu and you can um, set different abilities, learn different abilities and stuff if you still have ability points. You can even change your equipment and armor and stuff like that. But one thing that you can't do is buy more equipment. Um, so while you might be able to change your class to fit the battle that you see coming, you can't actually buy the equipment that you might need if you don't have it. So it's always best to do this after the battle, even though you can do it right before a battle starts. Um, and that is something to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. The third tip that I got for you guys is to get a full party as soon as you can. Um, after the first battle, you're probably not going to have enough uh, gold pieces in order to buy any new recruits. But um, as soon as you do, probably after the second battle, you'll have enough. Come over to one of the towns and go to the recruiter and pick up a few more recruits. Do keep in mind that you can actually change their classes, whatever starting class you kind of want. Um, you can also adjust their level if you want to spend a little bit more coin. Um, but do keep in mind that you kind of want to get a balanced party, so don't get like a whole bunch of mercenaries necessarily if that's not what you necessarily need at the moment. Um, the, one of the main reasons why you want to have more than six is because while there are some battles that allow you for more than six um, members on the battlefield, um, you also have to anticipate that you'll have injuries amongst your characters and I've talked about injuries before what that basically means is that if you if one of your characters die uh, it doesn't matter if you revive them or whatever if they die during the battle then they'll get an injury and what that means is that all their uh, main statistics uh, like attack mind um, defense and stuff like that they'll get penalized by 10 percent so Really easy to, you know, um, 
avoid getting that by obviously not dying, but to fix it by just letting them sit out a battle. Do a patrol, let them sit out a battle, and then you can actually you know, use that character again. So um, it's good to do those patrols so that in the event that your one of your main characters gets injured, you can uh, supplement them with another character so that you can still keep that full six party uh, member group uh, on the battlefield. So really important, keep a full party. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So for the next tip that I have for you guys, that is to buy new equipment. Um, try to keep your characters outfitted with the best equipment that you can. You might have to sometimes go to different cities in order to do that. Luckily in this game, um, when you're traveling, unless there's a um, <clears throat> campaign uh, surprise battle or something like that, you won't get um, you won't get pulled into a random battle like you did in Final Fantasy Tactics. So that's that's like a really really nice thing. The other thing to keep in mind is that in this game you have a try and buy um, option. So when you go to the shopkeep, you can um, click on the try and buy, and then you can see what each character can use and what they have equipped already and you can just go ahead and outfit them with whatever you want and then when you're done with all your characters you can go ahead and leave and it'll ask you do you want to confirm your purchases and um, you say yeah you buy them you say no you leave without an, anything in on your inventory and you've wasted no money you've just kind of explored what options your characters have as far as to what might be um, some different equipment or better equipment that you can actually get so very very good option for you guys to buy new equipment and try the try and buy selection as well um, it might be a good idea too to uh, rather also to um, pick up um, other like maybe an additional one or two um, weapons or armor pieces if they're real good um, and you have money to spare so that if you're caught in the middle of um, a battle sequence or whatever you need to change classes then you can and you don't have to worry about oh I don't have you know good armor or equipment or weapons or whatever for this particular class so just a little extra tip there for you guys let's go ahead and move on to the next one so for the last tip that I have for you guys that is balance out your classes within your party um, I like to have a well-rounded party and in general, I use like a 2-2-2 two, two, and two kind of formula. Um, it's, it's not always the case, but in general, you kind of want to have like two melee characters, two um, caster characters, and two flex characters that, you know, maybe they get, got a little bit of range and stuff like that. And with all of them, um, you should have a handful of them that have some sort of healing capabilities or... Um, uh, debuff removal capabilities and stuff like that uh, very important also make sure that all of your characters can actually do something every single round so right there you see I get the fleet of foot um, ability that's gonna make everyone move faster so I cast it on myself cast it on uh, one person or up to four people adjacent to me so very very important for you to be able to do something and and also have those healing capabilities and have melee characters and stuff like that so um, early on I'd say the knight class is actually pretty darn good for the defend ability that that gives you something to do when you don't have anything to do and it and it, and it helps every little bit helps um, the other thing that I want to talk about is um, if you need to which you will you definitely will and you know, maybe right away you might not need to switch classes, but um, it's very possible that you're going to want to switch classes um, early on. And throughout the game, you're going to be switching classes all the time. And while you do get bonuses, if you can uh, rank up a class all the way and learn all the skills and abilities and everything out of the class, you get extra bonuses. Um, sometimes it's better to kind of jump around early game so that you can get um, really good reactionary abilities and stuff like that for your character for e all of your characters so that they can actually do the most that they can do so um, and here's the class option class uh, changing system 
Um, it's it's actually really really cool. And for those who played the Final Fantasy Tactics, it, it's very similar. Um, it does also show you for the darkened out classes what you need to do in order to acquire new classes, like what rank of other classes you need in order to unlock the new class. So really really good. Just make sure that you um, you are balancing out your classes. And as a little side bonus tip here. Um, it might be a good idea to keep an eye on your equipment because if you have, for instance, right here, you see no one's using the heavy crossbow, might be a good idea to use it if no one else is using it and possibly even change a class so that you can use it. In the process, you'll be able to save a little bit of coin and you'll be able to play a class you might not have otherwise have played. Having a little bit more fun would be really, really cool. So that pretty much wraps that up. So that pretty well concludes this episode of Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark Tips and Tactics video where we were talking about the beginner's tips. If you had fun, if you learned something, if you enjoyed watching this, press the like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon, don't miss another video, and as always, thanks, stay cool, and bye everyone. <laughs>